Unfortunately, bull terriers are too often regarded as pure fighting dogs, but if they come from stable breeding and if they are given a lot of love in their training, they can be well-behaved and peaceful family dogs. History and Origin of the Bull Terrier This dog is a cross between the original English Bulldog, the White English Terrier, which died out at the end of the 19th century, and the Dalmatian. In the 19th century England, it was used in dogfights. The father of the Bull Terrier is presumed to be an animal dealer from England named James Hinks. Since he left no written records, the dog's origin cannot be determined exactly. But it is certain that the dog was probably never originally intended to be bred as a fighting dog. Rather, Hinks wanted to create a fashionable, accessory dog for well-off gentlemen towards the end of the Victorian era. And so at that time, gentlemen of high society not only carried a stick and top hat as a fashionable accessory, but were also accompanied by a noble-looking milk-white bull terrier. Appearance of the Bull Terrier From early on, dogs of this breed were bred in different sizes. With a height at the withers of 46 to 56 cm, the standard Bull Terrier weighs between 20 to 29 kilos, depending on the sex. There are no official size and weight restrictions. In England at the end of the 19th century, today's miniature Bull Terrier, which is recognized by the FCI as a separate breed, was the most common with an undefined measurement at the withers of up to 35 cm. The Bull Terrier's life expectancy is around 10 to 14 years. The outward appearance of this breed has changed considerably over the years. The original color of the Bull Terrier was pure white. Corresponding to the old breeds, one can find in the dog's breeding the rather elegant, high-legged Dalmatian types, the more short-legged and clumsy Bulldog types, as well as the Terrier types. Most breeders prefer a healthy mix of these three types. A Bull Terrier's coat may come in many different colors, such as pure white, as most are, or red, fawn, black blotched, or tricolored. However, in multicolored Bull Terriers, one color should be predominant. Bull Terrier's coats are short, hard and smooth, while their bodies are strong and muscular. A typical characteristic for the dogs is their down face, a diverging headline on the oval head which has no stop. Their ears are also quite small compared to their heads and set close together and rigidly erect. Nature and character of the Bull Terrier Contrary to popular belief, Bull Terriers, which are often confused with pit bulls, are sensitive, friendly and affectionate dogs that need close contact with their owners. In some countries, the owning of Bull Terriers is strictly regulated or forbidden by law. But if they are trained correctly and come from genetically good breeding, they are anything but just fighting machines. Breeders are encouraged to comply with breed standards and to exclude aggressive dogs as well as dogs that are not genetically sound from breeding. The FCI states the following characteristics. Courageous, full of spirit with a fun-loving attitude. Of even temperament and amenable to discipline although obstinate is particularly good with people. The only real negative characteristics of Bull Terriers are their stubbornness and, in the absence of early socialization, not getting on well with other dogs of the same species. Exercise and care of the Bull Terrier As with any other dog, regular exercise and sufficient mental activity is a matter of course. One of the most common genetic abnormalities this dog breed is affected by is monarchism, meaning one of the two testicles is missing. Furthermore, bull terriers can be susceptible to skin allergies and heart and kidney diseases. Unfortunately, congenital deafness is also common, especially in white bull terriers. Their coats are very easy to maintain. Just regular brushing with a dog grooming glove is fine. Thank you.